here's the question. Everywhere I go, people are asking me, how is Stephen A going to handle it if Mitchell knocks out the Knicks? How is he going to handle it? Let me ask the other side. <laughs> what are you going to say if the Knicks knock out Donovan Mitchell and the Cavs? If the Knicks knock out Donovan Mitchell, the star they should have had. Mm -hmm. If the New York Knicks knock out the Cleveland Cavaliers, one of the top rated defenses in the league. Remember that scene when the great Roy Firestone was interviewing Cuba Gooding Jr. and, and Jerry Maguire? Yeah. I love everybody. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. I love Leon Rose. I love Scott Perry. I love World Wide West. I love Thibodeau. I love Julius Randle dribbling the ball seven times before he shoots. I love R.J. Barrett, who still needs to improve his three. I'm not going to have anything to say. It's going to be some touching moment. Orange and blue skies, baby. Is it going to happen? Orange and blue skies. Knicks or Cavs? Knicks, but the, the prize for that is they didn't go and play Milwaukee. And then one step at a time. Huh? One step at a time. Yeah, I think so. In, Knicks or Cavs? In, in, in six. Cavs in seven. Ooh. And if they do win, however, it validates keeping your depth. R.J. Barrett, O.B. Toppin, quickly all had great years, and four first-round picks. And if they lose, it doesn't. So that's what's at stake. Stephen A's sanity and a whole lot more. So let's talk about these Kings. Are they going to light a beam here? The whole world has disrespected them. All I've heard on Get Up every day leading into this postseason was, well, everyone wants to be six. Everyone wants to get Sacramento. Everyone knows that's the series that you want to win. What is their path to what I think would be, despite the seeding, a big upset if they beat Golden State. Well, playing with house money, knowing they have absolutely nothing to lose because the expectations are minimal. Understand it's not because of a lack of talent. When you look at De'Aaron Fox, who's an absolute stud, you look at Sabonis, the way that he's played, he was in the conversation for league MVP, not a top three candidate, but he's had a stellar year. You look at a guy like Harrison Barnes, he hasn't missed a game this year. He's a champion, former champion with uh, Golden State. Has played all 82 games. Heard is shooting 40% from the three. Keegan Murray shoot 41% from three-point range. They got shooters. They got athletes. They push the ball up the floor. It's just that they're flagrantly lacking in, in experience. So what you got to do is go out there with a nothing-to-lose attitude and just take it to Golden State, who isn't the biggest team in the world. Can De'Aaron Fox, in his own way, cancel out Steph Curry? Can mm. he play him close to even? Close. Because this seems to me that Sabonis has an advantage. If we're talking about front court play and talent and what he's able to do, he's flirting with triple doubles. It's not Jokic numbers, but I mean, it's, you know, sort of like, okay, wait a minute, he's had that kind of season? Jalen pointed this out many times over the last few weeks. No one even knows them doesn't mean they're not worthy. And also, Greeny, it looks different when your two top players are both left-handed. That's the same thing for your Knicks. And what ends up happening, you operate on the right side of the floor. And these actions that Sabonis and Fox continue to use get them to their strong hand. And Fox works the game as a point guard. He'll dunk on you. He's a willing three-point shooter, but he's shooting 50 from the floor. Sabonis is shooting 60 from the floor. And Malik Monk is a wild card. So yes. simple math for the Kings. Win four home games. That's their path. I can give you some more math. This is my favorite statistic that we have going into this postseason. The Kings had the fewest games missed due to injury this entire season of any team. Their starting five has been together all year long. The Warriors' usual starting five has not played together since February 4th. We know about the absence of Wiggins and all the time that all of their stars, it feels like, have missed. So the whole world is writing off Sacramento. I say do so at your own risk. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.